Good evening. And the legend goes that the full moon brings with it horrible events. You have more of the screen to use here. This music's pretty cool. My understanding is that in some places of the world this is called Vampire and elsewhere it was called Master of Darkness. Have you not heard the legend of the Who Rises with the Full Moon? The Who Rises with the... Well, the story actually happened in England 100 years ago. What? There was an investigator of the paranormal, a young psychologist named Ferdinand Social. That text is going so quick. On the night with the full moon, he received a mysterious message while using his Ouija board. Kill er. Vampire. Go to. Okay. What up, Symmetry Appeal and Fog Dog? Caution. I missed some of the words. In the wake of. Dracula. Dr. Acula. It's it's not Castlevania because it's kind of like Castlevania, but it's not actually Castlevania. It's also not Bubsy. Was that Dracula in the suit? Press start. Okay. At that time in London, the rising of the full moon meant the coming of yet another gruesome murder. Do I have to... Do I have to press something? The following morning would always bring the discovery of yet another body, completely drained of blood. Dr. Social knew that there was something supernatural at the heart of the mystery and began investigating. The best kind of doctor does their investigating with a Ouija board. Some nice supple lips on that thing. <laughs> Calling on the powers of the Ouija board, Social learned that at the, uh... Um... Yeah, it's Dr. Social. <laughs> yeah, this is TikTok and everything. Um, human imagination were taking place. Is the Ouija board going to help explain how to... Yeah. Well, who's talking in the Ouija board? Okay. We have a knife. Opens up press. Okay. Ah, you got it. The English language doesn't have rules. You can... Ooh. You can, um... Spell things how you like. Take that. I hope that was a bad guy. If not, I just murdered a man. We have a hammer of some kind? Oh no, maybe this... This is just like a cane or a stick. We catch the boat. So this, Dr. Social reacts to medical dramas. <laughs> My, uh... Understanding of this game is that it was made because Sega didn't have a Castlevania game of its own. Oh, we got a gun! Um, classic Castlevania weapons with its gun. Set potions in the walls. Oh no, dog. Hang on, I want to see what this is. I don't know what that did. Oh my dog. Oh. <laughs> my dog is making so much noise. Take that, stranger. You're all enemies. Belmondo never had a gun. Well, maybe Belmondo would have done better if he rocked up to Dracula's castle packing heat. 
the stairs are janky, so it is exactly like Castlevania. Oh, but you can jump off the stairs. This guy would do better if he had meat instead of potions. I think meat is better for you. Out of the wall. Okay. And so I guess instead of candles, we have floating white faces. Floating masks. Ooh. Did that do any... I don't think that did any damage to me. Yeah, maybe Dracula will just stop coming back over and over again. Can I dual wield? No. If, uh... Simon rocked up to his castle with a Beretta or something. How are you today, Fog Dog and Symmetry Appeal? Hang on, is there anything in the wall? No. Oh my god, go down the stairs. Oh my god, the stairs are so jank. Oop. No, I don't want to go up the stairs. Okay. Take that. I'm glad he shot first. <laughs> I think I missed the gun. <laughs> to walk around shooting occasional bullets. So, you know, maybe they have limited bullets. They can't just fire them all willy-nilly. Oh, we have a bomb. The bomb is awful. I want the gun back. <laughs> Hang on. I don't know what that dropped on me. Hang on, a little closer. This dog's about to get it. There we go. <laughs> my God, the bomb sucks. <laughs> Is that it? I beat the level. I wanted to give this a go. The bomb is better than Belmondo's. <laughs> I mean, at least at least Belmondo's axe. Oh, I'm on a boat. Um, like that song. This Belmondo's axe is like a, a bit quicker, you know? Oh, we have a sword. Yeah. More bombs. Oh no, am I stuck up here? No, we're fine. Death Stranding gave you a... Oh, nice. Now you can shoot the weird things that float above the ground. I didn't quite understand what those things were. Or the... I didn't really understand the relevance of the baby and the bottle that you were carrying around. And also why Guillermo del Toro kept on shaking the baby. It was very concerning. <laughs> Hey, Raven Puffs. That's exactly how boats work. You've just been getting on some faulty boats, I think. A good boat. Is this... Oh, it's just the knife again. I wasn't sure if it was the knife or... Oh, the knife sucks. I want the gun. Um... You just step on a boat and the boat moves. Ah, uh, you need... Oh, no. I'm I think I want to be here. I need to go up here. Oh, my God. Okay, the knife... The knife really sucks. What you need to do is, so if you, what should have happened is you get on the ferry and the ferry immediately moves with no one controlling it. We're just going to wait for this, I don't know if this is meant to be like a zombie or just someone with a bad posture. No, we're going to keep the gun. I think the gun is better than the bomb. Understanding is the death stranding is literally the dead stranded between the real world and the, oh, okay. So are those the people that were floating and you had to try and sneak past. Oh, 
We'll take the sword. The sword is better. Do I want to jump over there? Maybe there's stuff in the wall. I feel like the cane, like the walking stick, was better. Can I? Okay. So I can't, like, jump and onto I the will stairs. Down upon hey, Steve. <laughs> Vengeance and furious anger. Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And, and you, you will know, know my name is the Lord. Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. They try to rejoin with the living people, which causes. Oh, so that's why bodies explode and they have to. Okay, I don't want the knife. That, ex that explains a bit more. Baby seems to be born from dead mothers, so they are technically between... Oh, okay. So if you plug those into your shoulders... <laughs> Such a weird game. <laughs> he's, he's got an imagination. Ooh, it's a, yeah. I, um... You know, look, if we we're playing Master System games, let's, let's, let's do the... Master System Castlevania. Which isn't actually Castlevania. Is a stranger stabbing? Like, how does this... So I'm the doctor and I'm just walking around with a sword and a gun. How does he know that these are bad people? Ooh! Okay, this is it's a flying woman. Okay, the axe is better than the sword. It's like, doesn't have as much range, but it's doing a lot more, I don't want that. It's doing a lot more damage. Oh no. The gun seems to do the least damage of anything, but I still think I want it more than the bomb. Psychosis lets him know that all of the... <laughs> I mean, he... He has gone set out uh, on a mission because a Ouija board basically told him to. Oh, okay, so we've got respawns here. Down the stairs. Okay. Double axe. Pretty generous with health, I think, because it seems like it takes two or three hits to get rid of one of those health bubbles. I'm gonna try and jump over the. I assume she's meant to be a ghost. Oh, another axe. I bet you there's stuff down there, but I can't be bothered going down there. Ooh, let's try the boomerang. Better watch out. Hang on, you better watch out. The boomerang sucks. <laughs> that throwing stick boomerang right back on us. Okay, I should not have jumped. Okay. So, okay, the little orb things appear to just be points, by the looks of it. Mm. Okay, so that's like a rosary. I do like the music. The music is cool. that to despawn. Are you... Ah, you wish to hinder me? Is this a pirate? Who is this? 
Is this Dracula? Who are you? Get him, Boomerang. Can we just keep spamming? Looks like Walu. Yeah, <laughs> they they go to the same clothes store. Okay, he's dead. That was um not quite following the story. Maybe that was the police because they heard about a psychotic doctor murdering people. <laughs> so you managed to defeat my Jack the Ripper. That's right. All that has happened here has been under my control. What? And the things you've seen so far are just the start of the horrors. Go to the House of Wax if you dare. How? How is this... My waxwork figures will be waiting for you. Perhaps you will be the, my next wax masterpiece. I need a replacement for Jack the Ripper, after all. Who Who is saying this, and how is he communicating this with me? Looks like the Ouija board told him to go there. Go there. I think there was... <laughs> Maybe. Ugh. Okay. So... I have to be paranoid of every... everyone. Is it just... Okay. Uh, I think we want to stick with the axe. Is it just these women with the white dress? Carbon... yeah, <laughs> they're all frozen in carbonite. Uh oh. Oh, we're about to get two of them. Just see if there's anything in the wall here. No. Dolomite. Dolomite is my name. I don't have a secondary weapon because I wasted all the boomerangs. I like that movie. Dolomite movie. Ugh. Uh, I think the axe is better than the sword. I feel like the sword was a little flimsy. My only problem with the axe is it doesn't have as much reach. Yeah, you've got a potion. I think I can... I'm assuming I can just drop down here. There we go. We're good. Oh. This is spooky. This is kind of cool. It's different. Oh, I assume I have to jump down there. Okay. Ugh. Just let them come to me. Look, are we counting wax figures as murders? Because I think at this point, me. How many did Jack the Ripper have? He had like, uh, like eight or nine or something. He had a fair, fair few. It's like at least half a dozen. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna die. Let's go up here. Oh God, I need, I need a potion. I've taken a small amount of damage. This... What? Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Texas. Hey, we got a boomerang again. Please. There we go. I think I read a thing a while ago, like they had some... There were some new theories on Jack the Ripper. Um, there was some... I would say it was like new evidence, but there was... Can I just leave here? But like they matched some piece of cloth to like someone in the area or something like that. It was, I can't remember. I don't know enough to be able to just confidently talk about it, but there was some some new development with Jack the Ripper, Ripper in the last little bit. A little bit, it was probably in the last two years or something, but. Five attributed to Jack. Oh, really? This is five, okay. Possibly, if, yeah, I guess they don't know exactly how many. See, he, he sent a few letters and stuff as well, didn't he? We love boomerangs. We're all about the boomerangs here. We don't want the swords, we're not, okay. Like, there's so much nonsense down there, I feel like there has to be something good. I don't like the pattern of these bats. Okay. It, was, it was nothing, it was just points. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's a poltergeist room. It's because he's been playing with that Ouija board. Okay, that was a much needed crystal thing. Oh, we're all about points. Oh god. So I guess when things go like this, I just have to kill everything in the room. But we all love that noise. Points are what it's all about. <laughs> they did make that game, Fog Dog. It's called Ninja Gaiden. Do we want the... We'll keep the boomerang. We love the boomerang. There's been a few new theories. One was the DNA on some cloth which was linked to Aaron. Yeah, that's right. Was he like... I might be completely wrong, was he like a barber or something? Like a hairdresser in the area or something like that? Are you a ripper buff, Steve? Ooh. I, I knew there was something to do with like some cloth or something. Oh man. boomerangs. You know that candelabra is gonna come to life. We're actually pretty low on health. We need a potion soon. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, this is actually getting hard. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's our first death. Okay, I need to be more... Oh no, I'm back to the knife! Thank me, thank the knife. Okay, we've got the sword, I guess it's better than the knife. Let's just go upstairs. Prefer these bats or Castlevania Medu... I'm used to the Castlevania Medusas now. Hang on, was there something up here? Oh my god, please, knife. The knife is such a small thing, I don't know how to hit it. Okay. Okay, let's just go. Alright, we got the bomb instead. They were dangerous chairs.
One of his early films called Italian American consisted of interviews with his parents, Charles and Catherine, his mother, Catherine Scorsese, appeared in many of his films, either in uncredited roles or small parts. I didn't know that. Nominated for 14 Academy Awards, won once. Nominated for 12 Primetime Emmy Awards, won three times. I hope that fact about the Academy Awards and the uh, Emmy Awards uh, is just about uh, Catherine Scorsese. <laughs> How you doing, Ultras? It was, but we've seen, I think it was a, a rip-off, though, you know? I don't think it was a genuine. Um, because we've seen a couple of them. Okay, I think we're gonna die. Wait, what am I throwing? Okay. Mate. Die. Okay. Da Vinci. <laughs> yeah, going well. Going well. We're uh, playing this for the first time. Other was other was that Jack was Charles Lechmere who found one of the victims but gave a false ID to the police and potentially have been around all the murders. That sounds kind of dodgy if he gave like false ID. What does he have to hide? Okay, that was good. Okay, please be a potion in the wall or something. Genius, <laughs> genius, a genuine one wouldn't attack you on sight. Yeah, I think. Okay, maybe the the club thing is better. Oh, I desperately, desperately need a potion. I I figure my health doesn't carry over to the next level. Okay, we're fine. Oh god, accidentally pressed pressed a button. We're fine. Well, the axe is fine. Oh god. Is this... Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. I thought that was, like, steady ground, but... I don't want to hit that just in case it's something bad, like a knife. Could've used that. It's fine. The bomb the bomb is actually serving us pretty well. I could say it's no, never mind. Oh god. Okay, that ghost just messed with me. So I don't... Oh, God, okay, let's just... Oh, okay, cool. I was about to say, I don't think we see potions unless they're in the wall, and I'm very glad I was proven wrong there. The bomb is the bomb. Although... The gun would be nice as well. I think the gun is very weak. It doesn't seem to do much, but... I guess it's just nice having something that's... ranged and... Doesn't take ages to land. Okay. I assume that's a one up. <laughs> the boomerang is a happy medium. Uh, oh, God. The old moaning Lisa again. No! Oh, <laughs> good. It's okay. He he he. Blood, young, fresh blood. What? My. Okay, we're, we're aiming for the skull, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, this is going... Okay. This is not going okay. I'm wasting a lot of bombs. Oh no. He's doing something. Stop him. I wish I had literally any other weapon. Okay, okay. So, oh, that, that hit him. It's very slowly doing damage. Okay. Okay, it's swapping sides, I guess. Okay, wait, wait for it to... There we go. It's gonna kill me, I know it. I feel it in my bones. There's some second phase where this figure is going to come. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Happy, me <laughs> Happy medium cheerful psychic. <laughs> Words are fun, though. Stab that skull good. The cemetery east of town. After defeating the evil spirits, the psychic girl managed to gasp a warning before falling into unconsciousness. Jack the Ripper was collecting bodies and fresh blood to be spilt as sacrificial offerings to dark forces. The cemetery east of town, there was no way to know what the message was warning him about. Stay away from there. But Dr. Social had to act quickly, so he rushed there as fast as he could. Okay. Epitaph. Skull's feeling nothing now. <laughs> In the Dark Ages. <laughs> Don't make me feel old. <laughs> I think this was like 91 or 92 or something. Everyone knows it's spelt just how Stephen King spells it in Pet Cemetery. For the Dark Ages. I see. There's like someone at work who refers to it as the 1900s and it really upsets me. <laughs> yeah, stick with the pistol. I think they were born in like 2001 or something. days. Didn't even have a smartphone. Oh no, that dog is messing me up. Bad grammar, that's the true horror. Can I ring the bell? No. Okay, well, I guess we're getting the stick again. <laughs> you've, you've got a grudge against it. How do we do... Can we do this? Okay. 
I thought that was pretty cool. Very clever. We just... Oh, okay, it's like an elevator. Hang on. Is this a secret? Oh. The dogs are friendly. Honestly, I think this doctor is the main enemy. Can I continue? Okay, I was, I was thinking, I was wondering if this is like splitting off into another... Another di direction. Ooh. See, these are just probably just the caretakers, like the people who work at the cemetery and I'm just shooting them. The spikes are like an instant death, or we'll, we'll find out. Nope, they're not. Okay, can this bat <laughs> not? Okay. Hmm. With the <laughs> yeah. It's decided to not. Doctor or guy who's in. Well, you know, what's the difference? Oh, can we. I want. Okay, whatever. I don't know if this is a game that has continues or I'm just gonna. Game over. Yeah, see. Simon was much healthier. He only uh, ate meat out of the wall. No potions. Actually, there was some potions, but, you know, not too many. Do you think the potions are, like, strawberry or something? What, what gives it the nice red colour? Uh, doing that just because we're running low on bombs, and maybe it's best just to have something. Blood. I like to think it's something nicer than that. Hey, Crisp, how are you doing? Welcome in. Okay, these people don't look friendly. Uh, we're all good. Oh, okay, they move pretty quick. We keep the stick. I think we keep the stick. Stick has slightly more reach, and if this bat hits me one more time, I'm gonna be upset. There we go. No worries, Raven Puffs. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good sleep. Had a nightmare at work today, but it's not. oh, just a stressful day at work. How do we? Oh, uh, are those, like, ammo for, like, the bombs or something? Oh my god, please. I am glad that it's kind of generous with the health, you know, like... I feel like if this is Castlevania, I would have been dead a thousand times over. Sonny can... how that affected you? Did it just get handballed to you somehow? Oh, can I... Yeah, we can do a bit of a crouch. 
Notch Wolf. I'm gonna go on the other side of this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. When will they get him out of office? Can I make this jump? I can. Let's just stay up top here. Keep... Keep going. Set. Uh, I ain't going down there for the boomerangs. out of the loop. So, the container ship hit a bridge. I'm not up with the uh, current events. Truly it's a warp zone. <laughs> yeah, I was close enough to the top of the screen. Spent the whole day doing track and trip, you know, just in case we accidentally reset again. Doing track and trace and Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that sounds... Look a mess. Oh, this guy seems like a rough customer. Is it all kind of taken care of now, or is it going to be like a, a problem for a while? How did it hit the bridge? Was it like a human error, or something go horribly wrong mechanically, or something? Yeah, I was going to say, was there any like fatalities or I, I I probably should just look up the news uh how do I make how do we get down here without taking damage okay that's how <laughs> yeah, bridge <arrow. laughs> just jumped right out of there okay we have a big pendulum here Mechanical issue. There's a video of it hitting. I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, I... I feel bad making jokes if there's, like, people who are not accounted for. I could... Oh, really? Oh. So the whole bridge collapses? I'm just being a good streamer and I'm looking it up on my phone. My phone is right here. Try Hungry Jack. <laughs> Sit through an ad. Oh yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Hang on. I'm wasting my reaction, yeah. There's nothing more powerful than you. Making your thing happen. Just gonna get through an ad. Hang on. Also, react to the ad. <laughs> Let me do this.
when uh... that's that's a great pause right there On our breaking news now from Baltimore in the US, where a ship has brought down a road bridge. Miley Hogan joins me now from America. Miley, what's the very latest? Mark, good evening. This story is developing bit by bit. What I can tell you is that the Coast Guard has confirmed that it received a report of an impact at around 1.27 a.m. local time. That's around two hours ago. Now, local oh. radio, we've been listening in there and a number of talkback callers have called up saying that they heard a large bang and a large boom. Goodness. Now, a number of authorities are rushing to that, that would make area. a large boom. Roads around that bridge have now been blocked off. They are asking people to stay away from this area while they try to respond to this you can clearly see in the vision of that collapse i guess at least it happened in the middle of the night that bridge oh there, there were cars on it reports that there are now vehicles in the water a number oh, of emergency i feel bad making jokes before that way to do what they can this was a cargo ship that hit this bridge it is the francis scott key bridge in Baltimore. Now that cargo ship ha is registered to Singapore. That's all we know about mm, it. I would uh I'd be a bit stressed if I were the captain of that ship. But oh, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, Bezos is in here as well. He's watching. He's a big fan of Master of Darkness. Is that the, yeah. I'd, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't want to be up here. Um, yeah, that's horrible. Um, oh, I guess we get the gun. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's... Uh, well, I, I guess if the boat struck... Hang on, go back this way. The bridge, I guess that would imply that it's a problem with the ship. At least that's, that's sort of what my takeaway would be. Whether it's like, maybe it was like bad water or something, bad, bad seas, it was like... And they kind of lost control or... I don't know. Well, I guess this is okay to come in here for the potion. <laughs> Trying to organize containers to be diverted while they're doing. Ah, I mean, you know, you just doing your job. Oh, do I have to break this? I'm not sure how logically this makes sense in terms of the game, but I'll take this jump. Looks like the power goes out in the sh Oh, maybe like engine failure or something? They lost control of the ship? I'm looking forward to the... Uh... Oh god, how do we do this? Have I done goofed? Looking forward to the... Uh... Whatever the ocean version of the air crash investigation is. Oh god. I have so few lives. Oh no, back to the knife! At least I get... It's, it's generous with its iframes and it doesn't knock you back super far. <laughs> Getting kind of... St the stairs are a bit janky. They aren't... It's just hard to know when I'm actually meant to start... Like, walking on them. Oh god. 
I should be trying to... Mm. This is crazy if I go for this. Maybe this is something good in here. Whatever. <laughs> oh god, that was a bad jump. I think this was a gun, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, we need a, a stick or a sword or an axe or something. Oh god. Under maritime law, anyone who has a container on a ship could be responsible for the cost of rebuilding. Oh, wait, what? Really? I bet that there's going to be some, some lawsuits coming. There was a, a potion down here that I think is worth me going for, I think. I would feel like the shipping company would have responsibility. They'll be like the, was it the NTSB, the, the transport safety board will have to like figure out who's responsible, I guess. But yeah, I guess there will be lawsuits, but yeah, that, um, that would be horrifying for, you know, people on the, on the bridge. I guess like at least to happen like late at night, the bridge wouldn't have been as busy, but still. So, I actually tried to do a jump, but does this even get further? It does get a little further than the actual blocks here. Okay. What if a truck or lorry carrying your cargo would... It's maritime law, so only if the truck were in the ocean. I shouldn't... I, I stop making jokes. Stop making jokes. I need to stop making jokes. I need like an, uh, an actual weapon on. Oh, no, what do I do here? Take a hit and then do a jump. So I don't know if I'll die if I drop down it yet. Yeah, I guess that'll be interesting. Oh, just jump. Okay, I, I want to see what this is in case it's... Yeah, okay, that's, that's an upgrade still. Not today, game. just how I roll, you know? Old pendulum head. Can I make this jump? Oh, I have to jump up here, right? Take that. Okay. <laughs> You interrupt the dark, right? You must die! Okay. So is he just gonna do circles? Oh, he's going quicker. Okay, I wish I had the bomb, actually. Okay, let's just wait for him to slow right down. At least the orbs aren't going faster.
just keep spamming him with the sword. This is good. That's no longer good. Oh, he has a sword of his own! I think if I just keep doing this, I'll come out ahead. How much damage does he do when he does that? Okay. Get him! It's weird that they offer you a knife as if you. <laughs> Maybe they just got tons of knives and not many swords. Meddlers, you've killed my warriors. You shall pay. Why is he using plural? Floating in midair was a strangely familiar human figure. It was Count Masson. There had been rumors about the Count, who lived in an old castle far from civilization. It was said that he was studying the Black Arts. Yes, it seemed that the Count was indeed involved in strange doings. Black magic, full moon, killer, finally understanding the evil power behind the events, Dr. Social hurried to the castle. Yeah, is where is it? Where is it an out, uh, a count and an earl? Are they the same thing? Like in terms of rank? Oh god. Okay, just hit the thing. Oh good, another sword. <laughs> hey, Wyvern, how you doing? Thank you for the good luck. Hope you've been well. Oh god. Uh, this is level is not going well. I love birds. Crusader Kings 2 gives me the impression they're the same thing, but in different... Ah, okay. Where, where does a do... Is, a count is kind of just like a lord. Is it like just someone who owns a ton of land or something? Oh, yes, we needed this. Get down the stairs. This game is interesting. Has a lot of Castle uh, Castlevania isms. Um, I would say it's not as brutal as Castlevania is playing casually. So it is kind of generous with health and iframes. The boss fights aren't as absurd, but it's still challenging. And I have no idea. Oh, that's got to be something hidden up in that wall, right? Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen when I run out of. What is this? Out of lives. Uh, hang on, how do we get down from here? A baron has a castle. A count has some land, including whatever castles are on it. A duke has multiple counties. Archduke has mul. Oh, okay. So. If I buy a block of land, I can call myself a count. Mm. Let's just wait for the bat. The stairs are also quite janky in this wagon, so they've really captured the uh, Castlevania feel. <laughs> Okay, so it's like some kind of steak, silver bullet thing, knife, throwing knife. Uh, and the knife is also awful, so... I'll skip the knife. Overall, I think it's not a bad game, though. I have no idea... Oh, yes, yes, we need that. I have no idea how far into it I am. I'm assuming it might be like, oh god, uh, six levels or something, like CV1. Levels are quite long though. It's got a pretty big hitbox, this thing, so. Okay, just in case. Okay, 
hoping we would find some health. Why, birds? Like, you have no time to react to that. Yes, thank you. Usually a duke is royal, so... Charles did... Ah, uh, okay, so... Duke would come from royalty of some kind. Oh, how do I do this? Is a puzzle of some kind? Please, bird. I can't stand up here. Okay, now I can. It's just gonna keep respawning. This is this is okay. Oh, I want to get down there. Okay. Yes. It's back again. Okay, here we go. How do we do this? just want to leave. Thank god. <laughs> Could also be a hereditary title. Okay. wonder who like... Hmm. I guess it's not a thing that is like bestowed upon you or something. It's just if you're you're born as like a duke or... I, I don't know. Actually, I actually don't know how any of it works. I'm very clueless with royalty kind of stuff. I mean, from my imperfect understanding of a game that's set in the... <laughs> I don't think uh, the developers of Crusader Kings would steer you wrong. I think we're going to hang on to these projectiles. to be a little bit more careful with my health because the game is kind of ramping up in difficulty a bit. I think we'll pick up the cane. This actually seems to do some damage. lady. Cool. Yeah, you can tell how heavily they m modeled this on Castlevania, just with like the power-ups and the pickups and all the stuff you can get and some of the enemies. I'm not saying it in a bad way, but you just, you can, you can see the influence. We're nearly out of these, but maybe we'll find more. Yeah, let's just get the bomb, never mind. Oh, okay, it's one of these. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just a really bad jump. Oh, I'm back here. And I just got the knife. Okay. <laughs> I got Rick rolled. Wait, what was in this thing again? You know what? I'm just going to stick with the. 
What? What? My input is getting e eaten. Okay. Anxious that there might not be continues in this. I'm hoping if they've modeled after Castlevania, it would be like I'll just go to the back to start of the level. There don't seem to be like a lot of checkpoints though. It seems like every time I die, I just go right back to the start of the level anyway. So I'm a little bit nervous. Grab this. Never going to give you up. It does look like Rick Astley now that you've said that. and that's a bomb in that one. We'll stick with the gun, I guess. Wait, what? I don't quite understand why those things died, but I'll take it. here it's so hard to like there we go hang on am i maybe meant to kill that painting to like turn this whole thing off because when i killed that ghost before in that other room everything kind of settled down so maybe there's just like an enemy that you meant to Okay, it's just invisible blocks. <laughs> this could be both. They have some similarities. God. Okay, we need a potion. Thank you, game. Ask and you will receive, apparently. say I'm having a real hard time understanding the story. Okay. So I assume we have to break through that wall and get that. There we go. Just do the duck walk. I make... 
go. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a tight jump, but we got there. Gonna stay addicted or the dream will end. <laughs> Just have to keep on throwing back those potions. That feel good juice. Yeah, let's take these. Oh no, it's the wax figures again. Okay, we're in some kind of lab. Oh, well, I guess that's the name of the stage. It was laboratory. Laboratory. Yep, should have expected that. We'll stick with these, I think. <laughs> that's true. Hey, every death, I'm sure, is justified in this game. Okay, this is new. Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna get that just in case it's... Oh my god, what do I do here? Okay, what... I, I, I can't make this jump back up here. Am I boned? I can't jump over there, there's spikes. Is this just... do I just take a death? So these aren't killable, apparently. Oh, you can sort of walk on them. I absolutely press jump. Yes. We have continues. Oh, oh my god, we're back at 4-1. Okay, this is very, you know, like the part in CB3 with the owls. Oh my god, I just, I just gotta rush through. Guess at least I'm not going to the start of the game. I didn't see if there was a limit on the continue. Oh god. What, the continue? <laughs> whatever the Ouija board suggests. I can respect that. Decisions are hard. No! I remember right... Oh, God. Yeah, I should have knocked the dog into the pit. No! It's fine. Just get down. Oh, there was a potion here too, wasn't there? I think there was like a one-up in the next room, if I remember right. I just have to not die in this pit again. Oh, not this room. You know what, though? Let's see what's up here. 
Okay, I'll take that. Take that to the bank. Oh, there's more stuff. Is this a secret? Oh. Found a secret, but I'm quite sure I wanted to be in the next room. Remember that secret for the speed run. Oh god. Okay. Okay, this sub weapon is great. <laughs> uh, how do we do this? I no, just want to see if there's any hidden. Jump to the left. And a step to the right. <clears throat> oh. I think we keep that stuff here. Walk. 
So I can't make that jump up there, can I? No. So we got two lives. Okay. Actually, weirdly strong. Do, 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 do. Okay, how do we do? This? So I want to probably these stop eventually, don't they? Okay, we're fine. Oh, geez, what is this room? We know those two ladies in the middle are going to come al come alive. There we go. <sighs> Not going to help these people. <laughs> glad that this game is as generous as, as it is with potions. Ooh. Okay. Let's just think about this. So those orbs spinning around actually don't... I'm going to do a save just because I keep on accidentally hitting the reset button lately. Um, I could always just rebind it, but... That's so much easier. Okay, we'll just do that. Hmm. I must come up there from a different room. Interesting, very interesting. Ooh. Please stop attacking me, sir. Nice. I think I have to cut out this way, don't I? straight for the stairs. Uh, we'll club this guy, but give him the club too. When they're in the air, they seem to need to take an extra hit. 
Oh, what's going on down there? I'm going to assume that's not healthy for me to walk in. Uh, it seems like I have to walk down there. Okay, it's just ambience. I I thought this was like I don't know bad liquid to walk in or something. <laughs> Dracula? No. That's not Dracula. Aha, fools! You think that you can escape my castle. You shall die at my feet. Oh, okay. So he shoots that directly beneath him, and then I have to dodge all the orbs, as I am not currently doing. Just whack him with your stick! If I can just find a safe place. Oh no. It's gonna take me a while to get up there. Hang on, hold on, sir. We'll say the boss fights are not too difficult. <laughs> All science labs have on <laughs> Yeah, brain juice. No, impossible. My magic defeated. You, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, grant me power. Oh shit, phase two? Ninja vanished on me. A strange white light came from Count Masson's fingertip, and the next thing Dr. Social knew was that he was imprisoned inside a dark cage. Dr. Social threw himself against the door in desperation. Again and again he tried until the door gave way. I thought the game crashed. <laughs> no, that's just the master system. But now he found himself in the middle of a labyrinth of incredible complexity. In the wake of Dracula. Dr. Acula. Okay. Hmm. I have decisions to make. Which way do I go? This way has a mask. Eh. Like, I'm not... I don't really need... I only really need the masks for, like, one-ups and potions and stuff. I'm kind of happy with what I've got at the moment. Definitely don't want that. Just keep going upstairs. Just keep going up. You know, if I were Dracula, I'd be on the top floor. So we'll just go... Actually, it's a lie. If I were Dracula, I'd be on the ground floor. I wouldn't deal with the stairs. Wait. Oh. This game's pulling a Super Mario Brothers on me. I think. What if I go down here? find the right way. Have I been in this room before?
this, I think this is new. Wait, is it not? Hang on. This is a little bit of a maze. Crumbs or something. Okay. This game is uh, messing with my brain. I would have liked that, but I was too cowardly to go for it. Nothing over here. I can't go up or down. I'm getting a lot of these. Feels like the game really wants me to have these. Do I need to make sure I kill everything? What's the trick here? I bet you I'm going to time out. Oh, uh, well, well, I can't kill everything because things just respawn. Hmm. We have a puzzler. back up. down here. I don't think I want to be in this room either. Oh, hang on. No, I've been in here before. Let's go this way. I'm gonna need a potion soon because I keep taking, like, chip damage from things. It's over here. No, I've been here. Oh god, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna die in the dumbest way. <laughs> oh god, okay. So this is where I started. Came out of the cage. Let's just go in the cage. Just to, there's nothing I've missed in here for some stupid reason, right? Can I just leave? No. Interesting that that skeleton man spawns there. I'm gonna go downstairs. Can I consult the Ouija board? What if we just keep going downstairs? We have two health left. Two pips of health.
I'm just in the cage room again. Don't. wall here or something? No. We're looking for breakable walls. Oh god. We've got less than a minute left. 45 seconds. Oh, no god. No god. I definitely have. I've been everywhere. Been everywhere, man. Yep, I'm back. Did you look at that? I'm back to the start. Oh god. Been sitting on that one for a while. Okay. How do we do this? So down. It's got to be like. Super Mario Bros and there's, you know, in that castle and there's just like a specific pattern you're supposed to go in and I just don't know what it is. What if we go here? I will never expect me to go up. here anyway. Well, can I? Anyone here played Master of Darkness and know what to do? Oh my god, my axe! Got him! Go left. That's the start. Left, then left. more of like an up and down thing then left and then left my problem is I'm not taking enough lefts what do I do after I've gone left I keep just let's stick to my initial plan of just go up we're back at the door again. Okay. Hmm. Go right for <laughs> four times. Okay. gonna keep gonna we're gonna just try and keep going up wait no no but up in different 
different ways. Definitely being here before. Hmm. Yes, this is a loop. keep doing the same thing over and over again. That's, uh, can't go wrong. Okay. So what happens if we go up this staircase? Oh god, please go away, bats. So I, I, I hate them. The worst enemy in the game. And we're back at the cage. Okay. Up. Out of first screen. So we've gone up. Try it up, and up keeps failing us. Far right, and down on second. I have to take a bit of a leap of faith. Thank you, Crisp. We, we've got it this time.
I choose to believe you're a big Master of Darkness fan, and you knew that. So, up, first screen, far right, and down, one second. I would, I would not have found that, I don't think, the, uh, the drop. Hang on. Let me go up here. Oh no, that's, that's not bullets, it's just an axe. Straight down on this one. The room with the three landings, okay. thing I know about Symmetry Appeal is his love of Master of Darkness. Everyone's favorite console, the Master System. Hee hee, you're brave to come this far, but you can't hope to destroy this place. This is Castle Dracula in a dark wood in Transylvania. You are trapped in our country. Transylvania. You will never find your way back to your England. No, there is only one way out of here. Through death. Prepare to die. Is this... Final boss, is it? This final boss is gonna kill me. I'm gonna game over. Nope. It's almost bad. Seven more it's like stakes or something. Creatures of the night defeated? This cannot be true. How could you have done this? Appear before me. I call you dead or oh, more. More baddies. Bee stinks. Oh. Ah, uh, here's Dracula. Here's Dr. Dracula. And now we. Oh, God. Oh, this is. A bit trippy. I do not have a lot of health. Okay, and I'm wasting these. Oh god. 
Okay, I need to wait for him to appear a bit lower. This is gonna be a game over. We just got the axe. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> okay. one straight away. Alright, we got this. Up first ring, far right and down second. This is the run. This is the run indeed. I like it always trolls you with the knife right before the boss. <laughs> I have a feeling like the translation on this game wasn't fantastic. I kind of want to try and save the stakes for Dracula if I can. You have a lot though. Sorry, the bee stings. And I probably want to save my health for Dracula. Let's just shoot at him because the range on the axe is very limited. It's coming right for us! Oh god, it got us. <laughs> oh god. Taking more damage than I care to. Oh god, I've only got three health left. This is really bad. <sighs> Alright, I'm beefing this. It's fine. What, Dracula's gonna kill me? I've got three whole health left. Okay. Hoping if I die that it will just take me back to the start of the boss fight, but I have a feeling it'll send me back to the cage. Oh god. Just keep 
keep moving. Okay, that was annoying. Okay. It's really his Dracula because I he's teleporting right on top of me. I'm gonna die. Okay, the projectile doesn't do as much damage as he does physically. It's... it's Dracula. It's not Dracula, it's just a picture of Dracula. But this one's the run crisp. Decided. to conserve more health on uh, the first boss because I'm just burning through health. I think I know where I can get another one. It's fine. Yeah, we're fine. Down this. See, I've got a lot of air control. I, I like that. The, the jumping in this is better than the jumping in Castlevania. Hey, Wicked Child, how you doing? Welcome in. We're about to fight Dracula. And perhaps die to Dracula again. Yeah! You're seeing all eight bits in action right now. Ooh. Yeah, I'm good, good. Glad you're doing good. The music is good in this.
the run? This is the run. Yeah, the whole game is very Castlevania-esque. Just everything from the the power-ups and everything. Is there is there another? I mean, I assume that's that was Dracula. I mean, I assume that's the end, unless there's a surprise level. There goes Dracula. I think it was early, not like ninety-two-ish, maybe. With the rising sun, the darkness began to change to light. Social reached to the top of a small ridge and stopped. He looked at the outside of Castle Dracula at last. This was Transylvania, just as Count Masson had described it. The scenery was very unlike that of this, of his native land. The rays of the sun were blocked out by a dark cloud, surely an effect of the magic spell. As the dust cleared, the once solid castle could be seen in ruins. Social but descended the mountain and found a road leading to town. Jonathan Harker had given him directions so he could return to England safely. Thanks to social, London was free from the curse of the vampires and people could at last walk tonight without fear. Now we have electric lights to help us feel safe. It seems as if the honors of the past, horrors of the past will finally something something. Dracula's curse cannot be lifted. Uh, Dracula, finally, you must always be careful when walking at night when the full moon's shining. Could they have scrolled that a little bit slower? <laughs> 92, yeah. Uh, I think it can... The storyline was a little bit nonsense, but you know, that was, that was a fun game. That was, that was actually very good for the master system as well, I think. Um, for an 8-bit game, it looked good, it sounded good. Um, yeah, it was good. As this would have scratched the Castlevania rich for people who didn't have a Nintendo. His Bloodlines would have been out not long after this though, that was like 94. Well, there we go, that was, um... Master of Darkness. Or Vampire Master of Darkness, depending on where you are in the world. Um... Hey, Bloodlines is a great game. I won't have any Bloodlines besmirching. This has some cool tunes as well. We might call it there, I think. Maybe we cranked out some Master System games. I'm thinking I might do a Zelda game next. I'm thinking I might actually um, get through Link to the Past. I think that's uh, maybe it for the, the Master System. Unless we did some of the Master System Sonic games. Um, but yeah, I think might go with a bigger game next time. Maybe, yeah, maybe A Link to the Past or Link's Awakening, one of those. Yeah. Alright, thanks for hanging out. Thank you, Chris. Symmetry Appeal, Wicked Child. Thank you, Fog Dog. Thanks, Steve. Just like the wind. Let's check a raid to Uchi, who is a fellow Australian speedrunner who is learning a new speed run for the board boosters community and it looks, it looks like a very interesting dos game called zeliard so we'll go over there thanks for hanging out everyone have a wonderful evening